Two-dimensional way is a two-dimensional space I am creating. There are many other way of uh, uh, forms or space or structure, but I start with two dimension. So first thing is there is a given space. So there is a painting like this. So in painting, how space works? Space two forms when we create we leave a space in between, say. So, that, that, uh, that space which are in between two objects are also very important. So, they have a certain relationship in between. There is a... Uh, uh, so, it is uh, like that. Say, this is, there is a form. And then, I can make Another form, uh, like say, this, but maybe something else also. So now, this spaces are living, and there is also space. This we say, these are all positive space. between this space, this is two forms, and in between, this is the negative space. But now what happens in artwork, that this space is having some relationship with the space which are already, which are drawn. So if we make it another way, say, So this is like this. These are different, but then what happens? These spaces are this space also they have a tension in between two forms. So that reacts to our mind. You know, if every space has a reaction, every space is uh, you know reacts to our mind, to our sense, actually, sensitiveness, and it goes to our brain. I show another way.
actually I am showing different forms, how it reacts actually. Uh, if you look at this form, this is a square, rectangle, triangle, round, and this is little wavy. Now, what happens? Uh, this form, this form, this form, they are all different space also at the same time. And I am showing here how the forms reacts. I mean, uh, you see, if you look at this and this, they are different. They occupy different space. And this also occupy different space. And this has a different character, you know, it is wavy. And this is also having a edge, a sharp edges form. And this is a, suppose, a, a top of a charge hmm, with a very sharp uh, upper part. And this is a top of a mosque. And this is a short, say, a, and this is, say, a crocodile's the top, you know, area. And now, if you look at them, you see, this round shape will react to our mind differently. The square, all these three, space reacts differently. And this shape also, I mean, when you look at a round shape, it is more, uh, you see, it does not have any corner. So, that gives a different feeling. And when there is a uh, space like this, this is the top of the charge, it goes towards the sky or heaven, if we look at it. So that gives a different feeling. And this, uh, that uh, crocodiles, you know, that, uh, yeah, that back, it has all this shapes, which also gives a very sharp, uh, sharp, you know, feeling. You see, it is as if it, it is very, uh, you know, harsh. Hmm. It gives that sort of feeling. So now, uh, what I am going to say that each form has its own, you know, all shapes and forms have a feeling which is, uh, which is, which reacts to our mind which actually goes to our brain, it hits our brain and also creates a sensation, a feeling. So when we look at the structure, we must remember that each structure, like now you can compare with the existing structure of this hall or this stage. You see every, for, you know, every part, there are certain structure or form. So, after I explain this, if you look at them, you will feel the, that how, what I am talking about. Suppose that cloth also, cloth is also having a structure, it, it is, you know, falling like this. It is very soft and, you know, it has a falling <coughs> feeling. So, that cloth also has a, you know, certain uh, feeling, you know, that due to its, you know, character. So each object, each object with its form has a feeling. So when we, in artwork, this actually is transformed. I tell you how it is transformed. Uh, I was, uh, I give an example, uh, the, uh, the, the statue of Ram Kinkar Bed, if any of you know, it has a very rough structure, you know, very, that texture is very rough. It is made with sand and sandstone. Small, small stone is there and mixed with, uh, mixed with uh, cement. So, that statue is made, it has a very rough texture. And uh, another, if we compare to another type of sculpture, which the surface is very smooth, very, you know, it, it is uh, like, you know, Brahmkushi sculpture, 
which is very smooth and you know uh, uh, there is no you know no harsh feeling so each uh, texture is very much connected with you know art form i will come to the finally to art form how it works hmm. now uh, so uh, here this this sort of this is a feeling created you know like this which in art form also you find it that uh, that texture of the art form like van gogh's strokes you know it is very dark and it has all the strokes very you can count them in fact the, all the brush strokes you can count and that is an expressionist type of painting but it has all the the, the surface quality is having lot of strokes which are also having you know the grains if you can say the grains which have also uh, uh, that uh, that ram kinkar's sculpture also has grain whereas bang rankush's sculpture is having no grain it is like uh, like a cloth which is very uh, you know like muslin or silk if you see the silk uh, you know that uh, the quality of silk quality of uh, that muslin cloth is like you know like rankush uh, rankush sculpture whereas rough textured or what what in it is hard hard texture stony texture that is like ram kinkar sculpture also in painting like uh, expressionistic painting of uh, uh, our uh, uh, van gogh you see that strokes are there so that surface structure uh, is created like that so they have similarly as you, we have feeling like that the painting also has that sort of feeling so that that we record in our brain we when we see that object when you see that painting like we see an object that painting also creates certain sensation in our brain so this is very interrelated it is a similar thing like the same way if we look at there are several aspect in artwork so i will come to that point then uh, there are different elements which are in a in an artwork it's a, a painting
something like that, say, an artwork has, you know, it starts with imagination, then idea, story, etc. Then, when it is executed, these elements come, space, structure, form, figures, uh, then lines, tone, texture, texture, textures, then feeling. Hmm. Uh, so these things are connected. So now, uh, when this space is made, space is made, say, something like this, as I said. This is positive space and these are negative space. So this happens. Then we create a particular text, form or figure. So this place may be a human figure, or house, or building, or something, or tree, or something else. Or maybe people, you know, uh, building something like that. Then these are made with lines. Lines, then tone, texture, then these are made with feeling at the same time. So now what happens? Uh, these forms, forms are also having, say, rhythm. Uh, they are very important when the forms are created. Uh, so, uh, they are connected with the whole uh, area. Then, lines, uh, of course the lines will have a particular quality. Each, the, the, when the artist makes a line, that line will completely, completely show, it will come out of his, you know, out of his, you know, uh, system. Say, when we make a line, the line should be, say, one can make a line like that. One can make a line like this. Or one can make a line like that. Uh, something broken lines. So these all lines have, comes out of our, personal system, personal, see, body system, vibration. So they create vibration, uh, each line has a vibration. So they are very important that way. So in case we, um, when artist creates a line, what happens? The lines are, uh, at one time, at one way, they show an object. Okay. Suppose, one artist is making a, a pot. Okay. Uh, this pot will be drawn, but artist will not just draw. Okay. Hello. Hello. So now, uh, one way the artist is making a pot or a human face. Say, human face. But what is important for artist is not just to just to draw, just to portray this, uh, the, uh, the, the, the pot or a face. It is important that how he is making it, how he is ex executing it, that is important. The, the importance is how, what sort of line will put, so that the line is very living, line is important. Line is not just a line, it is, it actually like our expression is what they say that it is not the object which he is drawing, but it is the artist, his mind is being expressed in the line. So that way line is important that way. So it is, the, the, the way it is made is important. It is not that the pot, I am just able to draw a pot is not important, but the artist that feeling of his mind is important. 
the way he is put, uh, he, his whole uh, uh, feeling is expressed in the line. So that is important. So in this case, I will have to see that the that artist work comes for everything. It is important that line is one of the thing which is very important. So then tone comes. Tone is also important. Then this texture. Tone is only showing the light and shade, etc. But artist may not always show the exact realistic tone. He makes a tone which is important to make the space significant. Suppose sometimes what happens, a tone, uh, you see, normal way the tones are making like that. Mm. But artist may break the thing. He may not show the exact tone like that. He will make the, the toning in such a way which gives an, a sense of illusion, a sense of, uh, uh, you know, that uh, emotional expression will be there. He may not exactly do all the tones which are being seen, but which makes the artwork interesting. So, it is the, it is, it is, he takes the liberty to make it. If you see many paintings like, also like putting colors, which I have not mentioned, the color is a very important uh, element. Color. When he puts color, say if you have seen uh, paintings of Matisse. Matisse painted lot of figures, still life, where he took liberty to put uh, any uh, color as he wished to paint. He, as he wanted to paint, uh, suppose he puts red here. Oh. Say red here. Uh, somewhere green like this. Hmm. Green here, red here, or some other which is not actually there. So, he wanted to make it a painting, not a, a representative, real representation of the object or of the face. So, uh, he wanted to make a relationship between different color, which makes it vibrating, which makes it more artistic, which is important for him. So, I think that artist takes this liberty. So, when they put color, it is important that the color makes a combination which is more uh, attractive, more appropriate. So this is important for color. So when makes a, an artist makes a color, he, he, he goes to see that how it is interrelated. Then texture, as I said lastly, uh, that how texture is working. It is like that, you know, we are very conscious of texture. Textures are like that. Some, as I said about uh, uh, sculpture of Ram Kinkar and sculpture of Brankusi, the similar way, uh, in our daily life, how it works, you see that uh, uh, any person, when they go to purchase a cloth, what they buy? They look at a cloth, they not only see the color, but also the texture. Texture has a feeling. Someone will like to buy a very, uh, you know, fine cloth like silk or muslin. Or someone will, will buy, you know, like rough uh, khadi cloths or heavy cloths or textured cloth. So, we are very conscious. In our uh, real life, we actually are very conscious about it. But when you look at the painting, artwork, this same feeling is there. But we normally do not relate to that feeling. We always, since we have the, uh, we have, you know, we have this uh, misunderstanding uh, to look at a painting. Sometimes we don't look at this basic uh, elements. We only look at the images. We look at the, uh, we look at the, you know, the 
this pectoral area like a tree like a sky uh, like sky or a, it's a, a house is there some people are walking we only look at the real real part of it but actually every painting when it is successful it will have the the basic elements in right way it will be there so unless they are right way uh, made in the created in the painting they are not successful so we will have to really see to the painting that this uh, elements you will have to look you will have to forget the real form and look at this uh, you know how the whole uh, you know how uh, the painting and artwork is actually generating that feeling out of it not from the object object a face or a person or a house is painted it is the the combination of color com, uh, make you know cre creation of structure space for tone uh, structure line this thing is actually the basic element which is behind the artwork so unless we are conscious of that we cannot really enjoy an artwork so this is very important for artwork so i i think that this uh, this could have been uh, again uh, shown if there are some uh, real painting but we have no painting today yes yeah. so i go to another india to explain the same thing further Thank <laughs> you.